This Summer Olympic gold medalist is known as the Quiet Lion. And now you can see the bend here really, Surim was away then, it was won by this stage. Hi, my name is Stephanie and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today our host Veronica speaks with Bruni Surin about achieving your goals and turning your dreams into reality, even if they are Olympic. In 1996, you brought home the gold medal for your country, but apparently you had people telling you you weren't good enough. So how did you avoid all those negative comments? My parents always, uh, always uh, taught me, like uh, in life, there's gonna people who always gonna be uh, discourage you. I mean, uh, they always uh, told me whatever I want to do in life, I can, I can achieve it uh, as long as I, as I uh, work hard. So that's why today I uh, speak a lot in, uh, in schools uh, to say to the kids whatever dream uh, they have, they can achieve it. Your foundation is helping kids reach their own dreams how do you do that I tell them uh, actually my uh, my my story uh, and uh, a lot of time I, I ask them what uh, what uh, what are their dreams and uh, a lot of time uh, unfortunately I see uh, kids saying that okay well they, they, they would like to do uh, this or this there's always a but and I tell them also uh, my my sad stories like when I when I wanted to uh, to get into a competition like they didn't want to take me because I wasn't good enough uh, when I was uh, competing for the for the national team but I didn't perform well like the reporter was uh, was saying to me that I'm a, I'm a loser I'm not a good athlete there's so many stories like that and I tell them I said do you see yeah, but I kept I kept going I didn't say okay well yeah I'm, I'm listening to the, this reporter I'm not good I said no as long as your heart uh, wants to do it you're passionate about about what you want I mean you, you have to keep uh, working hard now people who achieve great things often listen to their inner strength how can we all tap into our own before getting my medals I, I trained like 15 years to achieve that. It's not, it's not overnight. Uh, too many times we see people trying to do something and the first time they, they, they have a, a bad, bad results, they, they, they quit. One um, trick that I, uh, I, uh, I tell them, I said put your goal or dream somewhere that you're gonna, you're gonna sit, you can sit like every day. I mean in my room I had, I had my performance. It, so every time I go to my room I, I sit I said, okay, this is what I'm, I'm going after. And that's what, that's what uh, kept, kept me uh, uh, motivated because I, 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 I told them, I mean, if you don't have a, a, a specific goal, I mean, it's like, it's, it's like you're taking your car and you don't even know where you're going, you have no direction, so you're lost. Your foundation works with kids, but is there anything that you'd like adults to know? I mean, adults, it's the same thing, because uh, nowadays I, uh, I do conference like in school, like in uh, sport association, like in companies, and I always do like a, a Q&A uh, session, and I have a Q&A session, like private, one-on-one, -on -one. and you have no idea uh, how many people come to me and say that, okay, well, uh, they wanted to do this or that, but, and they're like, oh yeah, you know, when I was young, I wanted to do that, but they have regrets. I said, that's why I said, especially to the kids, I said, don't do the same mistake. Do you have any final words of wisdom for us? The only person that who can, who can uh, stop people to achieve their dream is themselves. Oh, thank you so much. It's so great having you. Okay, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Ooh.